All right, Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai, Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai, Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, the great millstone, and honors and salutations to all you Akim out there that's laboring in this truth and sincerity without wavering. And um, this is another show we're going to call it uh, There Are Different Types of Israelites. Pardon me. There are different types of Israelites. And this is uh, <clears throat> basically vibing off a video. I was uh the first video I seen this morning with Apostle Gabar, you know, uh he had made a, a a statement in the video and he was doing a video based off this video from his brother GMS Spiritual Temple too. And the video, I mean the statement that the apostle made was, was I was like, yeah, cunt, that's a good point. I mean, we did videos on, uh, pertaining to it, you know. So sometimes maybe certain things may seem repetitious, but you got to remember that the you know, which Apostle Tar says it uh, the Bishop Elder Sakharan says it, you know, and a few other brothers say it, which is true. The new brothers daily that's hearing this word and hearing this truth, and they didn't hear everything. And there, there's brothers that heard it, but they didn't, you know, sometimes re repetition, at least with me, the more I read over things, the more I, you know, back when I first came in, I used to watch certain videos over and over, <coughs> taking notes and, and I still, still do, still write things down a lot because you know in this fucking kingdom and the older you get you you forget certain things like you know at one time you know we knew exact dates to the to the month you know what i'm saying but anyway that's neither here nor there but um the, the point is the brother the apostle said something in here and it was it was uh hitting and um and then what he goes into about what the apostle paul said because um the brother did the video based off of of uh, the Sakari video, which, you know, you got the Sakari group, you got different groups, but the Sakari, they try to sit there and, you know, they they try to talk about things and, and then they'll slander the apostles. And, you know, that's why I look, man, I don't, I don't fall for none of that, man. You know, hey, the, and the Lord know who, who are his, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, not to say that there's not no men, men of the elect that can't come from these different groups, but you know, as far as the, the heads and, and, and the movement itself, the Lord ain't dealing with none of these groups out here, man. And there's a difference. But now, before I go into the scriptures, I just want to play this video and, and you'll see, get the gist of it from off of this video with Apostle Gabar was going to hit a couple of scriptures, especially the one where uh, uh, the Apostle Paul said that the last enemy. Right. And, and that's the same when this whole, when I heard about this whole thing, which again, you know, I was saying that this is a re-record, you know, I was doing a video, but, um, you know, this dog, you know, a puppy I got, you know, the first day she really, she finds her bark, you know, she ain't never really been barking. Now she, when I started the video, she kept barking crazy. So I said, damn, man, you know, say you're trying to distract me from doing a video. So maybe this is a, a, a needed video. So I, you know, but on um, what I have mentioned in it before is that is the, the point of, um, what the Apostle Gabar said when he said it, that was the first thing that came to my mind about the uh, whole situation of us living a thousand years and dying. And the, the thing is, is that first of all, why brothers get so far into this and going to the CGMS as false prophets, they're going off, they teach it. No, the hell we not. No, we're not. You can, you ain't proved that or proved nothing like that. All right. And, and at the end of the day, just like the Apostle Gabar said in this video, really the videos that we make, or I make through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is really for the elect, the sincere people, sincere brothers, all right, and the very few sisters that they are that watch, you know, but all the others, scoffers or whoever watch it, that's, that's on them, man, and at the end of the day, the most I haven't watched our videos would be condemned, really, so when you speak up against what we're saying, but the thing is, is that this is something in the kingdom, how about worrying about, you know, get, making it that far, making it to the kingdom, you know what I'm saying, instead of worrying tripping up oh you said we ain't gonna die we're gonna die and how does that make sense and we're not gonna die in the kingdom man and the brother brought it in the scripture came that apostle Gabar is bringing that's what came to my mind and then it, and think about it if that's the case we're gonna just only live in a thousand years well how come we don't hear about the holy angels dying every thousand years there's some uh, heavenly spiritual uh, 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 graveyards or some prisms floating in outer space with all the angels after the thought. Listen, man, that, that's not what it is, man. All right, we're gonna have we're gonna be changed. New box. See, people are thinking with the earthly mentality, you know. But anyway, again, that's not even you know what I'm saying. Uh, 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 such an 
an important debate, if you will. But you know, you got guys out there that play them games, man. But now I'm gonna play with the finish playing with the apostle was saying. I think it was the apostle Paul who said it. The last enemy that Yahweh Shai conquered is death. Now, as it is written, we, the apostle Paul again said that that uh, we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. So whatever Yahweh Shai receives, we're going to receive from the Father Yahweh. But see, another thing too with uh, this group Sakari, they got a they got a problem with the writings of the Apostle Paul. That's one of the yeah, and and, and clearly at one point, I mean, they sort of backtracked, but they questioned the, who wrote Hebrews and the validity of it and everything. And and seeing there's a lot of different groups that got you know the uh, problem with the Apostle Paul's writings. And Peter spoke about that man, which they that unlearned wrestle it to their own destruction, because. The Apostle Paul, the Spirit had him as a spiritual controversial figure, highly, because all the prophets were controversial, but the Apostle Paul, the Spirit had him on some other shit. I mean, just look at this conversion coming into the truth, how that happened, how that went down, you know? So he just had a whole nother spirit, you know, and that's how the Lord does things, man, you know? You had the heads, you had Peter, and, the, you know, then you had Apostle Paul, and you had other, and the Lord had these men as well as other disciples raising the hell throughout that Roman Empire, teaching like crazy, you understand, but you got people, because Apostle Paul, he, he, he correct, he like, look, he got on people that was going off, he was cursing people out, rebuking people, you had long hair, right, you had long hair, no, no, no reason for you to have long hair as a man, all right, he said by nature itself, you know, and then he was on a high level to, to where he was able to give his uh, spiritual uh, uh, input on certain situations so people try to say that it's not valid but he was going back to what the, the scriptures was, was saying just like how when Yahweh Shah came the things he was saying well you go back and find them in the old testament he, everything was, that's why he opened up the scriptures i think it was in isaiah he said look this when he went in the temple he said this day this prophecy has been fulfilled and closed the book you know so a lot of you know like the apostle the boss said you got the sakaris you got a few different groups that got a problem with the apostle Paul and his writings. So right there, that's a flag right there that you know that they, they can't be men of the Lord. All right. Because you know, you gotta, you gotta eat the whole road. You can't pick and choose what parts of, of the Bible you're going to deal with, man. All right. And, and matter of fact, um, I'm gonna read this real quick in Romans chapter 10, verse one, it says, brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the most high for Israel is that they might be saved. So, yeah, you got these groups that are Israelites, you know, but they're not the, again, this is the important thing. Galatians, uh, let's find it real quick. Galatians 6, where is it around? 16. It says, and as many walk according to this rule, see, and this is why this is important. And the Apostle Tar brought the scripture out, like, yeah, towards the end of the, the school, before the school got closed down. So this, we're talking about like the late 90s, early 2000s. He used to bring this out a lot because you had a lot of different Israelite groups and you got a lot of different doctrines. Now, 1 Corinthians 1 and 10 said that we all speak the same thing. So these other groups are an error of that. And a lot of them are willingly doing it, man. You got guys out there telling you to take the jab. So we got to make a, a difference, man, so you know who the real Israelites are. And you're going to know by what? By the by the, the words. John, the third chapter, he that the most High sent. Speak of the words of the Most High. So you see with the head elder apostles uh, and the rest of the brothers of GMS, which are in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, and all that are of such. You see through the spirit what we've been saying through years. You see it happening. You see it coming to pass. You see it in the scriptures, man, all right? Because why? The Lord is dealing with us, man. So if you walk, so that as many as walk according to this rule. So any brother that's walking according to this rule, and that's why it had to be said, not for no bragging or, or no puffed up thing or whatever but that gms has 100 percent truth starting with how to apostle to all in the time that we in right now just like back in, in the 80s uh, uh one west was the, had the truth i mean they didn't have you know certain things wasn't revealed at that time you know now that we're later into the prophecy of course more things are revealed just like during the time of the disciples when yahweh shai was on the scene they didn't know a lot of things, man, until I, and he told him, he said, I got to go back to the Father so that the Holy Spirit could come on y'all and reveal these things, man. And then more revelations and things started coming out. Same thing uh, through, with us throughout the years, man. All right? With, underneath our head, Elder Apostle Tar, we grew on a, a, and still growing, you know, because why? The Lord clothed us with humility, and we know that, that man, there's no ceiling in his truth, man. We know that we got to do this thing to the end, 
we're committed to this to the end. You can't, you know, start it and, and not finish it. You got to be ready to finish it, man. You see? So it said, and as many as walk according to this rule, peace be unto them, the real sincere brothers. And if they are scattered, not saying that they can't be scattered amongst these other groups or whatever. We said that for the longest. We tell you that members in GMS are not right, man. All right? There's a lot of spies. We tell you, so, you know, through the spirit of the Lord, we're transparent, man. We're not hiding nothing. All right? But we're just sticking to the script, man. And we're not going to be detracted by, you know, a, a little low life gimmicky type Israelites, man. All right? That, that sit there <coughs> and talk shit one minute and then try to rock you to sleep with, comp you know, nah, man. The look, man, we see all that, man. The apostles, elders, brother, we see, and, and look, man, Yahweh Shai said, a tree may be known by the fruit that it bear. All right? But, um, oh, Salakia. Now, let me, <laughs> dogs, you're in there crying. Oh, boy, the dogs are trip. Okay, so now this is uh, Romans 10 and 1. It says, brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. So now you got groups talking about, about uh, everybody can be saved. So you know that those are not the Israel of the Most High. So that's why we, we got to be clear when we speak about different type of Israelite, different type of Israelite groups. You got Israelite groups that sold out, Israelite groups that got 501c3 charters, which means that what? The government property, man. All right, they did strange things for some change, <laughs> okay? And, and we're not of that type, all right? We're not of that type. Say whatever you want to say, all right? But it says, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. So, yeah, they do have a zeal of the Most High, you know, uh, dealing with the Sakaris. There's a, you know, which I'm not, the, the head two brothers, I, I they, they, they got a lot of pride and guile and, you know, just looking, I'm just being straight up, man. You know, but there's other men, uh, I think do Alizar's Aliz uh, cousin, I forget his name. You know, it, it, they could be respectful when they want to. They approach the apostle, the boss, saluted them, you know, get whatever they, you know, pick and choose which apostles and elders. It, the most I don't play that partiality bullshit, man. All right. Yahweh Shai say either you're with me or you're against me. There's none of that in the middle. But it, guys out there, they could do that. You know, hey, the scriptures say if possible, live in peace with all men. So, yeah, I, if I run into any other guy outside of any other type of Israelite group, I'm not looking to engage in no confrontation or nothing like that because for what? You know, I, I understand that, look, the Lord didn't open your eyes up. Like like uh, the scriptures speak about, you know, if, if your eyes be hid from the, for our gospel, let me read it real quick because I am i don't want to butcher it. Is it 2 Corinthians uh, 3 and, um, no, 4 and 3, pardon me. 2 Corinthians 4 and 3, it says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. You see, and a lot of these other groups are lost. When you're talking about the writings of Yahweh Shai, uh, I mean, the writings of the Apostle Paul are not valid. And he, and he tells you clearly that, um, he tells you clearly that uh, uh, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is, is speaking through him, right? Matter of fact, let's go to, let's go to Romans, uh, the ninth chapter. You see, and this is why he said it. He said, Romans 9 and 1, I say the truth in Yahweh Shai. He's like, look, I'm speaking in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. You claiming that you believe in Yahweh Shai, but what I'm saying is it's coming right straight from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. And back then, men stood by their word. If, if you were a liar, that was worthy of death, especially on, on lying on, on uh, uh, the Most High and saying the Most High was with you and he didn't, wasn't with you. He said that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. If I could wish that myself were cursed for Yahweh Shai, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. That's what the Apostle Paul was laying down, man. All right. In the spirit. So he's saying, look, I'm telling you, I'm speaking the truth. But a lot of guys had a problem. So at the just same thing like with us. We're telling you, man. All right. We lie, we, we didn't lie to you, man. All right. We told you that the, the Lord is coming back. Yahweh Shai is coming back. He's on his way. We told you that Yahweh Shai. It's only coming for the elect to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel. We, we didn't lie. We told you that there's going to be a lot of Israelites that's going to lead you to this devil that are a bunch of Judas goats, or as our Lord Yahweh Shai called them, hirelings. We told you that, and we showed you it. And, we, and that's why, again, this video has to be done so that you know, because the Lord said he's going to separate the sheep from the goat anyway, man. Then in uh, Matthew, the 25th chapter, it spoke about the wise virgins and the foolish virgins. So you got two 
different types of Israelites. You got the ones that the Lord is dealing with and the ones the Lord ain't dealing with. And at the end of the day, it is for you to, uh, to, to figure that out, man. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. All right? But it said, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost and whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. You see? So now, going back to Romans 10, says, for I bear them the record that they have a zeal of the Most High. So you do have these groups. They, they got their thing popping. And see, and the thing is, it's not about a following. It's not about likes. At one time, hey, the Spirit had of brothers bust um, the Sakari, and I don't know if they ever acknowledged it or whatever, or they just ignored it, but they were buying, because you could buy likes, because in this social media world, and that's the thing, this ain't, this ain't the most, I ain't dealing with no goddamn squid games, man. This ain't a game, man. This ain't a thing of, of getting clout and, and you know, uh, uh, making money and hustling people and just saying, what you know, or establishing, like it says, establish your own righteousness, but he was buying likes. You know, you could you spend a hundred dollars, you get twelve thousand likes, and seeing that's the thing that gets you popping. If people, you know, that's why you got uh, the advertisers or a lot of these companies, if they see that you're a um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 I forget the word, but if you're hot on social media, if you're good at drawing up followers, you might do stupid shit. You might uh, uh you know, bungee jump off of buildings in the middle of a rainstorm or whatever, and, and film it and, and be, you know. And it might people be like this fucking, but after a while, people are like, wait a minute, man, he does shit to get people attention. So that's what the social media and, and you get people behind you, and that's where the commercials and shit coming coming at. Look, the Lord, Lord is dealing with the straight up truth, man. You ain't got to add nothing or take nothing away. You just Isaiah fifty eight and one, man. All right, that's just what it is, man. <clears throat> but it said, I bear them record that they have a zilla the most side, but not according to knowledge. So the Sakaris and they don't have the knowledge, man. They got certain things because they learned under the apostles. Uh, these other groups out there, they don't got the knowledge. Uh, uh, ISUPK, they bugging the hell out. They still talking about, or well, who knows what they say in the market of the beast is now, or the karagma, should I say. All right, they said everybody had it. You know what I'm saying? They Then the one fool had a nerve to say, John the Baptist is whatever I say. is he, If he's this whiskey and his glass in him. So what you think the Lord is going to do to these niggas that make light of his word, that make light of his prophecies, that pervert the gospel and the doctrine what you think is going to happen to him man all right and the lord is long suffering see a lot of times people think they got away with some shit and they don't realize it not nah, the most i going he's the king of spinning spinning the block man all right i mean come the most i gonna come back and get you when you when you think shit is sweet when you think it's over then here is the lord come back with, with that death angel all right with that sickle ready to put it right through your fucking big ass head man all right it said for they being ignorant of the most i's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. So yeah, just because you got a, a movement, a camp, you out there teaching and everything. If it's not the pure truth, then that's your own righteousness. It said, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. So that's why we tell we tell there's sincere brothers that want to break out from them groups that see the bullshit. Like, like a lot of guys seen that Nate was going off when he told you that the name wasn't important. Because the scriptures speak about the name. And then the scripture condemned those that try to take the name of the Lord away from the people. So they left and, and hey, do your own thing. You ain't got to come up under GMS, but teach the right thing at the end of the day. All right. So that, so, that, you know, I'm going to get ready to wrap it. I mean, it's a bunch of other scriptures I want to go to, but I'm just finish what uh, Apostle Gabar was saying on, on this video. One of the reasons why they wear that hat on their head when they teach, which we're not supposed to. So you got to watch out for that group. Okay. Yeah, they know they're Israelites. So what? Back then, uh, back in Jerusalem, more than 2,000. And that's the point, man. Yeah, they know that they're Israelites. That doesn't mean nothing. You got a lot of wicked ass niggas that know that they're Israelites. And they use this. Hell, you got Kanye West talking all, which he's all over the goddamn place in his drink chant interview. But nonetheless, he keep he he, he keeps saying we the twelve tribes, we the Hebrews, we the lost. You know, he, he you know. So you got a lot of you got gang members, man. A lot of them Chicago gang members know that they're Jews. They don't understand the, the truth or whatever, but a lot of, uh, you remember, you had a lot of the entertainers, Sammy Davis Jr. and Jr. Jr. <laughs> Sammy Davis Jr. and the rest of them. <coughs> got, uh, uh, who else? Is, there's another guy. Is it Chuck Berry I'm thinking about? They all, but they was following, you know, Judaism. They was following Amalek, the big nose people with the little hats. They was following them people, you know? But the thing of us being Israelites, you know, it's known just like right now. You got Israelites all throughout the four corners of the earth. 
You know, but just because you know that you're Israelite, it goes deeper than that because you got Israelites that are scattered over the world that know that they're Israelites, but they're not the Israel of the Most High. A lot of them are wicked. They come up against the real men of the Lord. You see? So you got to remember that. Years ago, you had Israelites that knew they were Israelites. <laughs> right? But did that make them members of the elect? No. There was still a chosen group of the elect back then. And it's the same thing now. Okay? It's all about that elect. And if you're... Couldn't have said it better. You know? Couldn't have said it better. Now, I got one more scripture I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to. You know... I'm going to get to this crazy dog after this. She's going crazy. Book of Acts. That's where it was at. So this is Acts chapter 8, right? Which, I mean, I'm sure you brothers all know this. But this, this uh, brought some more perspective. Why did, you got to let it be known that there's different type of Israelites. Because you got a lot of different Israelites that got ulterior motives, man. And it's, and it's clear. It, every, like, just like Esau's motive, here it is. He's shutting shit down. they locking down cities and moving on the so-called unjab. You, you see the motive. Same thing with wicked Israelites. Acts chapter 8, verse 9. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery. All right? And sorcery don't necessarily mean you got to be waving a wand and sitting there with a, a witch's pot, pot of brew and have little uh, uh, fairies flying. No. Nah. It said sorcery meaning, matter of fact, hold on. We in the blue, blue letter. This is one of the beauties of using the blue letter Bible, even though you got to be careful because, of course, there's times where it will go off, so you gotta you gotta watch them. But let's see what they let's see what word they put here for, for this word sorcery. All right, ma magic or my my. Let me see if I can get them to pronounce it. My ghoul. Strong's G three thousand ninety six. My ghoul. My ghoul. So my ghoul, right? It said to be a magician, and a lot of these Israelites ain't nothing but a bunch of fucking magicians. Some of them look like a. Magician, man. Magicians used to like to wear hats all the time when they were doing they, <clears throat> they had them damn, damn dunce cap and fucking conehead caps and shit to practice magical arts. Okay? And some of these dudes might straight up be doing witch witchcraft or voodoo and all that stuff. All right? To use sorcery. All right? The, uh... So that's, that's the main definition right now that they got. But in other words, the sorcery is going into deceiving people. You know, that's why you go to, uh, uh, what was it, Galatians, Galatians, uh, the third chapter. <clears throat> this is what the Apostle Paul said, Galatians 3 and 1. O foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth. Because why? You had other guys coming with a different doctrine, with a, di with a different virgin saying that the Lord was with them. And then Yahweh Shai warned that you're going to have many coming in his name saying that they were the anointed. They got the, you know. That they're, the, they're, the, they're the, the, the general of everybody. They're the, right under the most side, right? So he said, "Who?" He said, "You foolish Galatians, because the brothers, which were Israelites, that was at Galatia, the church in Galatia, they got caught, and you got some brothers that are naive, okay? And the scriptures speak about that, the simplicity in Yahweh Shai. You got to understand, keep it simple, all right? And, and you can't be a fool. You can't be so simple to. That's why we told guys, look, don't be bouncing around, jumping. Look, the, the scriptures say, draw water from our own system, man." Figure it out, man. Don't get, cause don't come to us as a mixed nut. You know, yeah, man, I like what you brother said, but I asked you, BK said this, but then the Gok, they said that. I'm confused. I like what Gok, then go fucking go with Gok. <laughs> it's that easy, man. We ain't got no time to play around, man. The truth is not for everybody at the end of the day, and that's why we got to bring out the fact that they're a different type of Israelites. We're ho I'm hoping like hell that I'll be found in that number of, of the, the uh, Israel of the Most High. The thing is, we don't know until it's over. That's why Yahweh Shai said, he that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. But it said, O foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth, which is what? The truth that you receive from the elders, man. You know, all these guys that broke and spun off off the elders thinking that they got some higher knowledge and they woken up. No, you didn't. You went deeper in the sleep, man. Deeper in the dog shit, man. You ain't got no higher knowledge, man. You niggas is, is off, man. All right? And the Lord put a curse on you because why? A lot of you guys are bugged. Some of you know that you bugged out. Some of you guys go to to your um methadone clinic, not methadone clinics, your rehabs and shit like that, and take your psych meds and shit, and, and you know you disappear for whatever. Then come out even more with more spirits on you. All right, doing more drugs and crack. But a lot of you guys don't even know that you bugged out, man. You know, so and that's that's serious, man. That's heavy, man. All right, but anyway, it said uh. Before whose eyes Yahweh Shai have been evidently set forth, crucified among you. 
This would I learn of you. Receive ye the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Because back then they were pushing the law as if the law was the way to get saved when Yahweh Shai clearly was the way. He said, I'm the way, I'm the door. All right. So it said, or by the hearing of faith, which a lot of brothers have erred concerning the faith, man. They're not keeping the faith. It said, are you so foolish having begun in the spirit? Are you now made perfect, perfect by the flesh? So that's, that's the point. Um, go back to Acts. So it said, but there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, which they were Israelites that was also uh, in Samaria. All right. That's why you had different churches there. Not for the, uh, the heathens that were there. Cause you, you know, you know the history on that. You should know how they got up in there. All right. It says giving out that himself was some great one. Right. And you got these guys that exalt themselves. That's why you see the names and they title and they saying they're going to do this and do that. You know, cause you got guys looking for that clout. All right. It says to whom they all gave heed. And you know, Hey, the scriptures say the simple believe every, everything. Every word. So you got a lot of simpletons out there. You could get a follower. You make up some stupid shit. You know, you can say that there's a rock that takes a shit every and and we on time. You get people following, waiting, you know. That's what Elon Muskie does, man. He said, Oh, we're now finally about to race to Mars. He could fly to Mars the quickest and back. Last one back is a, a rotten Mars egg, you know? And then people will be sitting there all looking, waiting, you know, they'll put all the camp in so you could get you could make that happen easily, man. You see? So it said, to whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest. So they had, a lot of these guys, these other Israelites, they think because they, they might have celebrities that are down with them, which we ain't, we ain't no damn celebrities. We ain't dealing with no celebrities. First of all, if you was a so-called celebrity, I was a sin, you would have to destroy your celebrity shit, man. Okay? Like Yahweh Shai told the rich man what to do. And we know how that happens, man. And he said it will be easier for to get a camel through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to come into this truth. All right? It said, and to him they have regard because that of a long time, a long time. So you got guys that have been around for a while because of a long time he had bewitched them with sorceries. Because why? The Most High is allowing, the Lord is long suffering, man. Okay? So they, you got a lot of these guys that have been, so they comfortable and they shit loud. The Most High is with us. Look at all the people messing with us. And look, the, everybody said that we, they with us. Go ahead, keep doing your thing. All right. Okay. The scriptures say, following out a multitude to do evil. That's what the scriptures say. But it said, but when they believed Philip preaching things concerning the kingdom of the Most High in the name of Yahweh Shai, they were baptized, both men and women. So the, all the followers, when they heard the truth from Philip, which was another one of the, the men of the Lord, so they, they was like, oh, this is the truth, right? It says, then Simon himself believed also because a lot, you can't deny this truth. You can't deny it. That's why even Sad Nigga, who knows, Sad Nigga might be Simon. You know, one of these, hey, because hey, <laughs> it's nothing new under the sun. But anyway, even Sarnetta himself, he had to sit there and call himself a Hebrew Israelite for two days or whatever. Uh, learn the name of the Most High, start trying to quote scriptures, studying, going to the Apostles channel, taking notes and stuff. So it said, then Simon himself believed also because you can't deny the truth, man. And when he had, when he was baptized, and that's what Sarnetta said, he said, look, man, these brothers say what the scriptures are saying. Then he's going to throw some dirt on our name eventually or, or try to like be funny and set, you know, whatever, whatever. But it said, then Simon himself believed also. And when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Like, man, these are some powerful brothers, man. You know, like that was, that was, sign that was man, you brothers, man. But man, you, you brothers sure, man. Watch what goes on. That's why I said it could have been Sarnetta. It says, now when the apostles which were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria have received the word of the Most High, they sent unto him Peter and John. They said, oh, okay. Because the, the, there was a lot of proselytes and everything that was in uh, Samaria. A lot of jakes that went way off and went, you know, was wicked as hell, and they went amongst them, them heathens out there. So that's why they was like, oh, shit, them, them niggas woke up. You got you got to camp out in, in Samaria? Word, them wicked-ass proselyte niggas. So they said they sent Peter the heads, right? They said, who, when they would come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit? For as yet he was falling upon none of them, only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai. So they didn't get the, the Holy, they got baptized in the name, but the Holy Spirit didn't fall upon them, all right, to where they w was opened up. It said, then laid they, their hand, then laid they their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Because why? That was the spiritual power that, that the heads had, that the men of the Lord had. Now, when Simon saw that through laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Spirit was given, he offered them money. They fam. 
Fam, I, I, I got some shekels over here for you, fam. All right, brother, I, I got some shekels, man. I want to be able to do just like what y'all doing, man. I want to buy that from you. Now, I ain't saying that that's a side. I'm just kind of joking or whatever. But that's a side net of this type nigga, you know, a hustle type of nigga. Showing you that here it is. He was already doing all that witchcraft and sorcery, right? And he had an ulterior motive. That's why, because he was following them. Showing you this is another spy. You got spies. He said, because he couldn't, he had no choice but to follow them. Because the people, they had the people, just like a lot of these guys, before they set their movements up, they were praising the apostles, the elders, Great Millstone. They waited until they got a, they used Great Millstone as a springboard. So where they, because a lot of these different guys, and at the end of the day, it's all good because why? If, if, if it's not of the most high, it's not, it's going to come to naught, you see? But it said, and when Simon saw that through the laying on the apostles' hands, the Holy Spirit was given, he offered them money, saying, give me also this power that on whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. But Peter said unto him, thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of the most high may be purchased with money. See, he was all about money, man. Money and the power. And controlling the people, all right, and that's what these people that's what a lot of these guys are doing. It said, Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter, for thy heart is not right in the sight of the most high. So, you got these niggas that are calling themselves Israelites, but their mind and their heart is not right, man. They got all kind of terrier motives. A lot of these guys are working with the government, man. A lot of these Israelite groups out there trying to set up other Israelite groups, and it, it, it's always happened. Esau always used. Other niggas are so-called try to take down other Jake groups, all right? When they came over here with Gad, how you think they, they was able to get the drop on Gad, man? They befriended and, and some old low-life Indian scouts, you know, and gave them some some shit, some some uh, some uh whiskey from Europe or whatever, right? And the niggas, yeah, they, that's what, right where they stayed over there. They go around when the sun is, is going down, they go hunt, and that's the best time. The kids are there. You can go. That's how they were able to do it, man. That's what Esau does he, with his infiltration. So it, 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 the spirit came down cold. And it show you that, yeah, it's not, it, it, the spirit will come down. I wanted the elder brothers or a brother to curse a nigga out, man, because niggas ain't right, man. Niggas are not right. Not every Israelite is the same, man. It's, it's about the Israel of the Most High. Like Apostle Gabal said in that video, the elect, all right? And, and, and I just felt it important because everything was kind of stopping me from doing this video. Not stopping me, but like little things were coming up. I was like, damn, why is like I said, you know, the dog I got, she ain't never barked yet. And she started barking all crazy, you know? She found her bark all of a sudden. So I'm like, you know what, man? Nah, I'm going to go in through the spirit and, and Lord willing, hopefully it, it, it's uh, edifying. All right? Verse 22, repent therefore of this thy wickedness and pray to most high. Perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. So I, I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. And a lot of these guys are bitter. A lot of them have bitterness towards the, the apostles, the elders, towards and really towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Really, that's what they really got. Because why? The Most High, the Lord is the one that casts the lots. He, he make make you a prophet of his. He make you eat Jeremiah, Daniel, Ezekiel, Haggai, Habakkuk, Philip, uh, uh, Paul, Timothy, Luke, Peter, John, James. He make you, the, the, he, he's the one that decide who's going to play what role. He sets up the men in, in their orders, man. And he said he does it according to the first fruits of the spirit. Everybody after they order. All right. So a lot of guys are bitter that they, they're not a part of that lot. You see, just like Cain, you know, that's why Yahweh Shai got at them wicked ass niggas, them Pharisees and Sadducees. They was rolling in the spirit of Cain. And he said, you have your father, the devil. All right. He broke that down to them niggas because Cain was, was envious and jealous because Abel was, was, was right. You know, you got women that, you know, and I had demons tell me, I hate that you're so right. What the fuck do you mean? If that's the case, then shouldn't you just listen? But you know, you know how these women are, boy. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, but anyway, with that, I'm, I'm going to end it there, man. Lord willing, hope this was edifying through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. I give all praises, Kyle, allow Yahweh by Shemel Shai, Shalom.